So yeah, this is our second video on radians. We're going to look at some of the uses now. So the uses are, the kind of main uses are anyway, it makes formulas easier and it's useful for sine, cos and tan graphs. So we're not going to look at this one in this video, we're just going to look at the formulas in this one, okay? So the formulas for arc length. So first I'm going to look at it in degrees, okay? So this time where we have it in degrees. So the arc length, remember, is this here. So with our angle theta, L, and the radius is or, both sides, okay? So in degrees, the arc length, oh, no, that's A. L is equal to 2 pi or multiplied by theta over 360, okay? So it's not that nice. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world either, but it's not super easy. Uh, where two, 2 pi, that's the kind of constant, or is the length of the radius, and theta is uh, dependent on how big the angle is, yeah? So now in radians, okay, and just remember that's, that the theta is in degrees, okay? This is if you have theta in degrees, you have to use that formula. If you have theta in radians, then you can just use this nice handy formula, L is equal to or theta, okay? And this is when we have theta in radians. So you can see there that it's definitely easier uh, for the arc length formula, yeah? Um, we'll have a look at the sector length one, or sector area. So again, we do degrees first. Degrees. Uh, and it's the same sector here, okay? I'm not gonna redraw it. A is gonna be equal to pi or squared multiplied by theta over 360. Yeah, let's draw a quick box around that. Is where theta is in degrees. <clears throat> and now for radians, A is equal to half or squared theta. That's all there is to it. Okay, so it's a little bit nicer in both cases, I think, anyway. Um, the arc length and the sector area, if you use theta in radians. Obviously, if the question gives you theta in degrees, you have to use these ones, but uh, it just makes us the formulas easier. So hopefully that makes sense. We're gonna look at two quick examples. I'll go purple. Uh, example one. So here's our little example question here. We have this sector here. Radius is eight centimeters and we have the angle theta. So they tell us that the area is 40 centimeters squared and they're asking us to find the angle theta. Okay, so I'm gonna start by writing out the formula for the area. Um, it's a half or squared theta, where theta's in radians, okay? Um, and we're gonna fill everything in except theta and then solve for it. So A is gonna be 40, and that's gonna be equal to a half multiplied by eight squared theta. That means 40 is equal to um, a half by 64 theta. And that means 40 is equal to 32 theta, theta is equal to ooh, 40 over 32, and our final answer, theta is equal to 1.25 radians. Yeah, and that's that one done. So that, that one's okay, just a quick uh, formula just to get used to using this formula here. Uh, and then we'll do a second example. I'll try and squeeze it in down the bottom. In the second example here, part two. So here we have our second example. We have another um, sector here. We have radius or angle theta, and then the arc length is 15 centimeters. We know that theta is equal to two radians. I wanna find out what or is, okay? So we have L, or, and theta. So we're gonna use this formula here. We're gonna have L is equal to or theta. We wanna find what or is. So that means or is equal to L over theta. That's 15 centimeters divided by two. So or is equal to 7.5 centimeters, okay? Uh, that diagram I drew isn't to scale. Really two radians would be you know, seven. Two radians would be quite a bit bigger, but it, it doesn't really matter, it's just about the numbers. So 7.5 centimeters is the final answer. So hopefully that video made sense. It was just a quick one to show you uh, some of the uses of radians and where you can use them. I'm actually going to give you guys just two quick questions you can try if you want to, 
I'll answer down the comments. I'm just gonna leave them down here. Um, the first one will be so ten radians equals how many degrees? You have to work out how many degrees is in ten radians, and then in a hundred and eighty-one degrees, that's equal to how many radians? Okay, they're just quick questions you can try. That's kind of the method we looked at in the last video. Um, yeah, so give them a go and then let us know what you think in the comments and we'll tell you how you fared. And the next video, we're going to look at graphs of sine, cos and tan. See you then.